Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you how to make pyrophoric silane gas. Check this out. All I'm using to make my pyrophoric silane gas is my Bunsen burner, a test tube. This is powdered magnesium, and this is sand, also known as silicon dioxide, and 12 molar hydrochloric acid. The first step is to create magnesium silicide by combining magnesium powder and sand. Check it out. The first step is to measure out one gram of powdered magnesium. Next, measure out about a half a gram of sand or silicon dioxide. The next step is to mix the two together. Now you're ready to add your mixture to a test tube. The next step is to position your test tube so it's pointed toward a blast shield as you heat it over a Bunsen burner. So right now, it's starting to create magnesium oxide and silicon, which will then react to create magnesium silicide. And there it goes. The next step is to let this cool for a few minutes. Once your test tube is cooled down, you can tap that magnesium psilocyte into a Petri dish. It should look something like this. And now we're ready to create pyrophoric silane gas. In order to do this, I like to use a big 2000 milliliter beaker to contain the sparks. Remember, silane gas is pyrophoric, meaning that it will spontaneously ignite when it's exposed to oxygen in the atmosphere. So we're gonna add about 10 milliliters, just a tiny amount of hydrochloric acid in the bottom of our beaker, and then we're gonna sprinkle the magnesium silicide and it will react to make silane gas. Check it out. Okay, now we're ready to sprinkle just a very small amount of magnesium silicide. Here's the balanced equation for this exciting double displacement reaction. We start with reactants magnesium silicide and hydrochloric acid. The magnesium silicide is Mg2Si, and we add that to four moles of hydrochloric acid, that's the 4HCO. That creates the exciting pyrophoric silane gas, the SiH4, and two moles of magnesium chloride, the 2MgCl2. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.